and television actress is in a new chapter of her life, is also stepping onto a different stage. The wife and mother of two toddlers has a solo show that opens this week in Midtown. CBS News' Dana Tyler talks with Katie Finneran about her latest adventures in musical comedy. Katie Finneran had loads of fun with the cruel Miss Hannigan in Annie on Broadway, and true to Finneran form, she kept the audiences in stitches. The two-time Tony Award winner taking her act to a new stage this week, a solo show at 54 Below, and she is here to tell us all about it. Welcome, Katie Finneran. Hi, Finneran's. Dana. How are you? Good. Thank and you yourself? for having me. Nice to see you, and I just can't imagine anything but a smile on your face. Oh, man, it's great. I, I'm, I'm performing at uh, Studio F uh, 54 Below. Uh, I always say Studio 54 because I did cabaret there back in the days, about That's 14 right. years ago. But 54 Below is, my performance is going to be Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night. Two shows on Saturday. And, and I'm very excited about it. You just don't contain yourself, Katie. I mean, you this know, is kind of I'm what you're known for. We're going to see actress. that. I'm a very subtle actress. I'm very subtle, very, very quiet. It's like De Niro in <laughs> quiet days. No, um, I, I love making big choices. I love connecting with an audience. And, and I love making people laugh. So hopefully I'll be doing that Wednesday night. And and when you did this too, I mean, just the reaction because Miss Hannigan, she's not the most beloved. You love to hate her kind of person, totally. right? Yeah, yeah. And so even with with kids and and fans outside, I mean, you have a nice relationship with your with your audience. It was so great because I loved the show so much, and seeing all of these kids come backstage, they were terrified of me. And I was it was always so much fun to to bring them backstage into my dressing room and have them like stay outside and be terrified and making those big choices. But when they saw me with my makeup off and stuff. It was, it, was, it was great to play those two different roles. It's like, yes, yeah, she's a real person. I met you when you were nominated for a Tony Award for Promises. Yes, Promises. Yes. I couldn't believe the stuff you, you did on stage. Again, very subtle, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I think you have a clip, don't you? Here yes. you are with uh, Mr. Hayes. Yes, Mr. Sean, Sean Hayes. Hayes. He's the best, isn't he? He's just the best. Are you, you did all my right yourself. Oh my God, look yes. at me, I'm dancing on the bar. Hello. There you are in the bar. You won a Tony Award for Best Featured Actress here. And and I mean, physicality, talk about that. Were you a cheerleader in high school? Or I wasn't what, a gymnast? cheerleader. I was in the theater from the time I was 12. I, I did programs from the time I was 12 and always felt, you know, most at home there, making, you know, big choices and uh, making people laugh, really. Making people laugh, which yeah. you did in Noises Off, yeah. winning the Tony for that. Thanks, Dana. You oh. like my mother. <laughs> mother. Should we talk about being a spray girl at Bloomingdale's? Oh my god! You, how do you know about you, that? You did that, right? I was a spray girl at Bloomingdale's to, to make some money. And uh, I had gone to the restroom, like some chicken sandwich place, and I came back and I had gone to the restroom afterwards and tucked my dress in and I came over and a woman said, you know, excuse me, miss, your dress is up in the back. And I said, oh, I know, because they sell this dress here. You can buy it back here in the back in a row. Make the best said, no, 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 of the situation. Back. It's back. And I had, like, tucked my dress completely oh. into my pantyhose and was spraying people with my, yeah. All right. It's, it's all full of pride and courage. But that's the kind of thing you'll be talking about in your show, which yes. I love this yes. title. It might be you, a funny lady, search for home. 54 Below, the show you'll start this week. What will it be like? What side of Katie will we see we haven't seen before? It's really about my love for the theater and how more than anything, I think a lot of artistic feel, uh, artistic people feel like their, their blood family, they always felt like a little bit like they didn't quite belong. They knew that their family loved them, but they didn't quite belong. And once they got into their true art artistic sensibility, they found their true family. And I feel like my home is the theater, but I always wanted to add my own children and my own husband to that community. And so it's about marrying the two. Finding that balance. As well as the work you were on the Michael J. Fox show. Yes, which was the best job ever. I love him so much. This solo show, you'll be singing some of what your favorites, a little Sondheim, a little It's funny Broadway how it came stuff. together. I, I, I tried to, to talk about the stories that I wanted to tell and what songs served those stories, but then I chose songs that I loved and found stories that that went with this the song. <laughs> So 
um, they're all songs that I really love singing and that I think are exciting and propel my personal story forward. Any dancing on top of the piano? There's no dancing. Unless you come and you dance with me, in which case I will dance, Dana. I think people will be laughing, Katie. <laughs> Have a great time Thank with you that. Thank you so much Best for having of luck. me. Best of luck. I know. Thank you. Katie Finneran makes her nightclub debut with It Might Be You, A Funny Lady Search for Home at 54 Below, right in Midtown Manhattan, starting this Wednesday. Back to you. All right, and you can find more on Katie's show on our website, cbsnewyork.com. Now we have to figure out how to get Dana on the piano. I know, we do. And you can also mark your calendars. You can watch actor Hugh Jackman hosting the Tony Awards right here on CBS. The show airs live from Radio City Music Hall on June 8th at 8 p.m. I love